well, first of all, for your patience on today. Um, you know, this virtual element and things, little kinks and all, working those things out. So we believe we're at a place where at least we can go forward. Amen. So y'all keep praying throughout. But you see our, we got a Zoom audience up there happening. So that's exciting and all. Um, so we're, we're doing this thing. Amen. And we're on Facebook Live as well. But thank you again for your patience. Thank you for being here tonight. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the 8th Annual Mother Tucker Day Legacy Celebration. Thank you guys for being here. We're going to have word of prayer led by Elder Apollos Tucker, and then we're going to have praise and worship. Amen.
day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense Sweet smelling savor to him. Amen. Say it again. Day, day and night, night and day, let it soon arise. Day and night, night and day, let it soon arise. Hallelujah. Come on, and let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a sweet presence in this place. Amen. Amen. We're going to continue. In the vein of worship, we're going to ask Brother Brian Tucker. This is the son of David Tucker. We're going to always acknowledge because our brother David, rest in peace, he had such a powerful impact in the ministry and all. And his children wonderfully are involved more and more. This is Brian. I think Micah left, but he was around here. And uh, Tisha is also involved and even their mom and all. But it's been so wonderful to see him down just getting busy. Like, remind us of his dad. But God bless you, Brian. God bless you. Give him a hand as he comes. Amen. Um, it definitely is an honor. This is an honor. Um, I really don't have many other words. <laughs> but it is an honor, and, I'm, uh, and it's a privilege to be able to serve. Um, this is what we do. <laughs> this is what we do. And um, I'm humbled and I'm so I'm, I'm grateful that Dr. Mother Grace Tucker answered the call. And she did it with fervency. She did it with 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 excellence. <laughs> she did with she did it with a fire with a passion it's the compassion when you get when you're moved with compassion that's when things happen it's like that's the difference between just saying something and then meaning it when you say it and so um, this song I know that she, it reminds me of her it reminds me of every everybody of every believer in the body of Christ that is still here on this side of the mud, still marching, and still, still doing the work of the Father into your utmost ability. He says, trust in me. You can depend on me. Trust in me. And so that's what this song simply says.
That means they can probably hear it on Zoom, but we can't hear it through the speakers here. So sorry, you guys. Like I said, this is working out those technical difficulties. But praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. They can hear it on Zoom. Okay. All right. So I guess that's one thing we don't want them to just hear on Zoom. We want to hear it too, huh? <laughs> But, I mean, that is so, we, again, tested it out. Praise God. We're going to keep moving. All right. Um, well, apologies for that. They could hear it on Zoom, but we couldn't hear it here. So, go figure. It's, um, but praise God. The little jiggle of the cord, what, did that work? <laughs> the little jiggle. Now, old fat, we know how to work some stuff, you know, back in, you know, just, um, Okay. All right. Well, Saints, we're going to we'll move forward. Well, we got a couple of the videos to show, though, later. Hopefully we'll get it worked out before we'll come back to it, okay? In Jesus' name. All right. Okay. Praise God. Right now, we're going to go ahead and uh, worship God with our offerings, tithes and offerings, while we work out some kinks here as well. But we're going to ask Brother Brian to come back up and receive that. Amen. God bless. Give God a hand. Praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Um, it's offering time. All right. Now it says, given it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press, press down, shaking together. Running over, so men give unto your bosom. Amen? And uh, God is not a man that he should lie, so we just got to take that to the bank. Amen. <laughs> um, these are ways to give. You can do um, the cash app, which is M as in mother, T as in Tucker, 
ministries. Um, and I found one thing, if you're doing it on Cash App, make sure that it's capitalized. I did try all lo lowercase, and it took me somewhere else. So if you want this ministry, make sure it's capital M, capital T, capital M for ministry, okay? With the S, ministries. Tr ministries, plural. <laughs> Thank you. Dollar sign, MTM Ministries. MT Ministries. You know, this is every day. No, let, me, let, me, let me reinforce you. Dollar sign, capital M. Capital M. Capital, capital T, T. Capital M for ministry. Ministries. Yes. Okay. Yes. Just makes it a dollar sign, capital MTM. Ministry. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then there's also Mother Tucker Ministries dot org. Okay. Um. Is that it? Is that, is that anything else? Okay. Okay, good. Was there anything else? I'm, is there anything else I'm leaving out? That's good. Okay. Mailing. Okay, I don't have that on here, but um, <laughs> checks payable to uh, Mother Tucker Ministries. If you want to mail, it's P.O. Yeah. Box 773, okay. Tulsa, Oklahoma, 74101. All hearts and minds clear on that? <laughs> yeah. Help us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Okay, well, at this time, let us give. Let us give, give, give unto the Lord. Let us give, give, give unto the Lord. Give and it shall be given. Good measure, press down, shaken together, running over to you. As every man has purpose, let, let him, him give unto the Lord. As every man has purpose, let him give. Let him give. As every man has purpose, let him give unto the Lord. As every man has purpose, let him give. 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 Give unto the Lord. Let him give. Give. Give unto the Lord. Give and it shall be given. So measure press down. Shaking together. Running over me. Give unto you. Father God, I thank you for the seed that has been sown, and I thank you that it will go directly for the specific cause of what that you, you've called it here for, Father God, from every, every vessel, Father God. I thank you that not just um, that, that bellies will be fed, but Father God, also souls will be fed. That's most important in your house. We thank you that this seed it will go and grow and do many great exploits in your name for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Can I, can I get on the piano? Amen. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus one more time. I'm so glad to be here tonight. 
I really am. Amen. I'm a product of this ministry. Nobody said amen. You don't have to, but I know I'm a product of this ministry. Amen. 14 years old when Mother Tucker laid hands on me and cast the devil out of me. Amen. Oh, Mulgee Church, 1328 East Lafayette. Take it to the place. Amen. <laughs> Two years old when we came to the ministry, but I thank God for what God did. And I look out tonight, this is really special because I was telling uh, Uncle Roy last night that it was your dad, your dad, Brother McGriff, one of the first men who really just would pick me up and kiss me when I was little, would pick me up and kiss me on my cheek and his whiskers would get me. And then I came back when I was taller than him. And I walked up to him, he walked up to me, Brother C.E., grabbed my tie and pulled me down and kissed me on the cheek again. And I just, precious, precious man, so I'm excited about the honoring. And then the Lewis family, well, I, I look out at, at that row right there, and there's a couple missing, but that family right there, man, they set the bar high for gospel music. Can somebody say amen? Come on, I think we can do better than that. If you don't know, trust me. <laughs> Amen. But I thank God for being a product of this ministry and a and, uh, product of everybody in this room. Amen. I feel like I, I used to say, I feel like I'm a member of every house of prayer. Because I got memories of shouting and dancing and sweating in every one of them. Amen. And I thank God for that. But um, you see, I don't have any children up here to sing with me. But I got my baby boy behind me. Amen. On the drums. And when they get big, they go their own way. And that's all right. Amen. <laughs> I thank God for them. So I'm, I was, when I found out I was going to have to sing, I was like, Lord, what do I sing? And this, is, this song just came to me today. It's been singing to me all day. If you know it, help me. It's your season to be blessed. Just 
your season to be blessed. Hey, tell somebody right now, tell them, it's my season. The time is now. It may not look like it. It may not feel like it. You might have to praise him six feet away from me, but I'm going to praise him. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to shout him. I'm going to shout with my mouth. Dance with my feet. I, 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 I feel like running. I feel like running. I wish somebody that felt like praising him. I wish somebody that knew him would get out of your seat right now. All right, Chelsea, go ahead and praise the Lord. Front of, in front of the microphone, but I am. I am so grateful to be here. I'm so grateful to be able to be here and to be a part of the legacy of Mother Grace Tucker. It is a blessing, such a blessing to be a part of her lineage and to, to, to be one of the ones that's chosen to carry on the mantle that she left and carry on the work that she was doing here. We're all called to do what she was doing. She, she always said that was not, God didn't write the Bible for me. She always said that. She was like, I'm just being obedient. She wasn't answering a call specifically for her. She just read the word and did what the word told her to do. So it's our responsibility, all of our responsibility to, to continue to carry on her legacy. But I'm, I'm glad to be a part of her lineage and, and so thankful for that. Um, he, my husband mentioned that our children were not here. They're, they're not here, but they're doing good things. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> there are, um, one of our sons is putting on a worship night in a couple of weeks, and he um, has two of our other children helping him, and so they had a rehearsal for that this evening that was already planned for a while. And so I'm, I'm thankful that our children as well are carrying on um, what the legacy is. I, I don't take that lightly. Do not take that lightly. I'm just so thankful for that. But um, I, I want to, I want to speak to the importance that Grandma had for relationships and for connections and 
she when she her motto was everybody is somebody and she believed that and she lived that and it wasn't just the the man on the street that would be laying the, the one of the the most vivid memories that I have of of the rescue home being open was when we got to the rescue home one day and there was a man laying on the sidewalk it was probably I think it was like 28 degrees outside and he was laying on the sidewalk with just a denim shirt on and it was open and he had nothing on underneath it and and you know he had pants and a shirt but his shirt was open and he was laying there because he was hot in 28 degree weather and so we when I passed by him and I'm just a child and I passed by him and I was like what is he doing laying on the street and somebody told grandma that he was out there she came out there she said she said come come on in are you hot are you hot and she says she told us he had been drinking and so that had caused him to feel too warm but she got him in because he wasn't in, you know of course not in his right mind so she took him in where he was supposed to be and took care of him got him uh, taken care of but things like that are significant they, they are the epitome of everybody is somebody but it's also when you encounter somebody at the grocery store and this could be just somebody that you would just pass by normally and say some, you know, say nothing to, but instead you smile and say hi, and there's a connection made because you smile and say hi, or you 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 are standing there in the line and you you end up having a conversation with them and you end up meeting a need spiritually or naturally for them in in the grocery store in the line. You make connections immediately like that just because of the power of the Holy Spirit, or and and because everybody is somebody. You know, we don't overlook people just as just another person, but everybody is a potential connection. Everybody is brought into your life for a reason. God brings people across your path for a reason. But I, I'm saying that to say that um, my parents were experts at that. My grandma was an expert at that. But there was a connection that was made with my parents um, in um, some people named Roger and Jeannie Staub and they were significant in the life of my parents. Um, from, the, from before my oldest sister was born, before my parents ever had any children, um, Roger and Jeannie came in and were just a, a vital part of my parents' lives. Well, their son, Steve Staub, has, has become a close friend of me and my husband's, and um, I received a call a few weeks ago from a lady. She said, um, Steve Staub gave me your phone number and I've been trying to get a hold of you for so long, but I have something that I need to give to you. <laughs> but she had been trying to connect with us. But I want, Nancy, I would like for you to come up to, that's your name, right, Nancy? Yes, okay. Um, I would like for you to come up and just tell your story about what you have to present and, and um, make this presentation. I wanted this to be a surprise to grandma's children but she's already spoken to most of you. <laughs> so I, I want you to, to present this. Oh, okay, to some of you, okay. This is Nancy, what is your last name again? Harkins, Nancy Harkins. This is a portrait I did of Mother Grace Tucker back in 07. A uh, portrait group that I meet with, haven't in a while, but met, meet with, we were doing a project to commemorate, um, I think it was a centennial in 07, and it was, we were painting different people that we admired in Tulsa, and so I had thought about Mother Tucker, I can tell you the story in a moment, how I had met her, um, and kind of had a, a hard time getting a hold of her. I didn't really know how to get a hold of her, and I think if I remember right, uh, as time went on, it got out there, I'd call different churches, and it got out there that I was trying to get a hold of her. So I spent a couple of afternoons with her at the home that she was living in then. <clears throat> and she, uh, we were out on the back patio, and I just took pictures of her and talked and shared. And, and I found out she's quite a character and uh, entertained me a lot, but just a really neat woman. And so I wanted to do this portrait of her for that centennial. And I really have been trying to find a Tucker to give it to, an appropriate Tucker. I guess there's other ones, but <laughs> the family to give it to for 14 years. But God knew 
you know, God knew what, what uh, he wanted to do. Um, how I first met her is I used to work uh, at an oil company, City Service Oil Company, back in the late 70s and early 80s. And there was a little gal that ran a coffee cart there, you know, that came out for coffee breaks named Wanda Williams. And I would like to know where, what happened to her, but I don't know. She was about 19, 18 or 19, and I used to tease her a lot, and she was not quite sure about me. And uh, she said, well, if you're really my friend, come to my church. And we said, okay, we'll come to your church. And so my husband, Ed, and I went to her church. Ed remembers where things are located. I don't. But I do remember that I think this church, that the aisle kind of went up as you went back, kind of like a theater. And she came up that aisle and was in some kind of very colorful gown or whatever and came up that aisle and we came in the door and welcomed us like I'd never been welcomed anywhere before. And I, I really think that was the only time that I had actually met her before I tried to get a hold of her for this portrait. But she was very gracious. We shared some on the back patio and I even had the, I guess, the uh, courage and the Holy Spirit to ask her, you know, how do you look when you praise? How do you look when you pray? And so I took different pictures of her and I have done another portrait of her that I may be doing over again of her worshiping. But it was a wonderful time. And I look back on that. Sometimes I'm not aware that this is the Lord. But I look back on that and think, how on earth did I do this? I mean, how do I just meet with this woman and she doesn't even know me, you know? But it was a real blessing. So at any rate, that's all I have to say for it. But I hope it is a blessing to you guys as well. Thank you. If you could see this up close, and, and Nancy painted this with, with watercolor, watercolor, but it's, there's so much detail and it's striking. When, when CE looked at the painting, when he first looked at it, it took his breath away. But it's, it's just striking when you look at it up close and um, we're, we're gonna decide what needs to be done with it and how it needs to be best honored and represented. And we just thank you. Thank you for this. Thank you. Yeah, we were talking to her earlier, so that was a beautiful presentation. Let me get you because the stairs are steep here. But thank you, Dolly. Thank you, Pastor C.E. and all. And, um, and Dolly, I think you hit it on the head with the relationship um, element there and how you never know who you're affecting. You never know until that everybody is somebody is, is powerful. So thank you. Nancy, right? Nancy, what's your last name again? Harkins, Harkins, like Harkins, and your husband, Ed. So Ed and Nancy Harkins, thank you so much. Thank you. That's just powerful. We really appreciate that. that is just, that's fine. And it really is a very prolific, very prolific painting there. All right, guys, we are going to work through that first video of the Mother Tucker legacy. And I'm going to take this microphone and I'm going to put it to that little device right there so you can hear the sound here because they can hear it on Zoom. So, so we can hear it here. We're going to just plug the microphone or set the microphone there, okay? So we're going to get that set up so we can enjoy that. Amen. You can go ahead and get it set up. And uh, let me give a quick shout out to this impromptu sound crew off the hook, Brother, Brother Chris stepping in and helping with managing the Zoom element. Just really appreciate you, Brother Chris and Brother Dan Kazanke. This is family as well, but he kicked in and helping with the sound up there. Of course, and Elder Rodney doing the, the live Facebook feed. I hear that sound is good on that, but thank you guys. You're making it happen. Thank you. <laughs> All right. There you go. You can 
started whenever you're ready. Because this was uh, not just a mission, it was a rescue home, but made it different. We didn't put no length of time for the people to stay. When they come, we want them to be able to kind of get themselves together and uh, get back into society like they should. And I haven't met anybody yet, hardly they don't know. My grandma was in her church or... She gave us some groceries or canopies. Everybody, mother has fed everybody. She fed them first. She ministered to them last. But she ministered to them first in a different manner for their physical needs. And then she brought it on around for their spiritual needs. But they were so willing and so open at that time to hear and to listen. They weren't hungry. They weren't starving. And they went away without. And she said, she said, come back tomorrow. God will make a way come back the next day. Oh, I mean, that place was loaded. I mean, by faith, her praying and believing God. Mother Tucker had always kept something. You could always go in there and get something. And plus, not only that, the spiritual and the natural. But she always, like I said, she always had that standard heart to help people. That that's hard to help people. And she always encouraged about the Lord. She said, don't give up. Don't give up. Right. No matter where I was, when I that nobody else could reach God for me or help me get to God. If I could get to Grandma, she could help me get to God. Today, she has never changed. I've known her to be the same person. Always trying to help somebody. I don't have much patience. <laughs> this will be about the time I throw 
throw something out the window. But let's see. It's still doing it. All right. So now, if I unmute here, if you play the video, It's okay, Lawrence. We're working on it, okay? Just bear with us. Thank okay? You, you plan it? I mean... It Does it still still be planned, right? Try to turn the mic up. Okay, well, we made it through that. It was, look, this is just really, praise God, Zoom. Y'all hanging in there too. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. <laughs> Working it out. Hi, hi, okay. 
Oh, my Lord. This is one to remember, right? Okay. Look, excuse me. Okay. Okay. We doing all right? Amen. Amen. Y'all all right? Okay. Praise God. All right. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to laugh because you know this is what it is. That's the way I said. We did test runs and all that kind of thing and day of little kinks there. But um, we do have um, a couple of, of um, the video presentations. <laughs> And um, this is really special because it's the um, Doyle Tucker children that are doing a video for us. So, in the name of Jesus, sound work. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Devil, get out of this technology in Jesus' name. You're a liar defeated by the blood of Jesus. Trying to hold up stuff all the time. Just always be you're defeated in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God some praise on that because he's defeated. He's defeated. He's defeated by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Go ahead, you can do it. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my. Come on, let's stomp the devil's head and tell him again. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Oh, can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's mine. Oh, he healed, healed my body. Told me to run on, he healed my body. Told me to run on, healed my body. Told me to run on, he's my friend. Oh, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Oh, can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my friend. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. 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 Nobody, nobody. Nobody, nobody. Do me like Jesus, can't nobody Do me like the Lord, oh can't nobody Do me like Jesus, he's my friend Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yes he is He's a friend that's ticket closer than a brother Oh, yes, he is. He's going to love you better than your mother. Oh, yes, he will. He'll provide every one of your needs. Oh, yes, he will. He'll heal all of your diseases. Oh, yes, he will. He'll make a way out of no way. Oh, yes, he will. He's faithful until the end. Oh, yes, he is. Hallelujah. Can't nobody do us like Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think we got the devil up out of here. Glory to God. He's defeated. 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, God. You give us a victory. Hallelujah. And we know, we know God is victorious regardless. We, we know that. We know that. So we're victorious regardless. Amen. But we are celebrating his goodness anyway. Anyway. Amen. Amen. Come on and give God another praise. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Amen. So we do have another video presentation and we will work through it. How we need to work through it in Jesus name. But it's going to be the presentation from the wonderful Tucker family. The Doyle Tucker family, because we have to be distinct now. There's a few Tucker families. So we're going to be distinct with that. So that's going to be the Doyle Tuck, the Tucker family. You got it, Chris? Oh, Lord, and feedback coming over here. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> We are getting through this. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's. First of all, we appreciate the work and effort that Dara and Dolly and Darlin and Ray and Dia and Delon, oh Lord, Diamond. <laughs> put into getting it done um we just appreciate that they did do this for this occasion as well so let's um amen let's go ahead and roll it Actually, that's beautiful too. They have a, a second one as well, so we're going to do that here. Amen. That was not bad. Praise God. That was, we, we, we do it. Amen.
so long and cold In sadness You are the laughter That shatters all my fears When I know I'm all alone Your hand is there God. Amen. Thank you, Doyle Tucker family. Amen. You guys came through on that. They did that thing for that was like the, the creativity of that just to do that for this moment. So thank you guys. That was so awesome. All right. Well, we're going to proceed forward with now we'll get into our celebration of the Legacy Award recipients. Amen. 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 We have made it to that part of the service on tonight. Praise God. I didn't pull any more hair out. I might have got a couple of more grays, but, you know, it's all good. But praise God. We're going to ask family to come up, the siblings to come up. We're going to honor our first recipient of um, the Legacy Award for this evening. So, um, 
I'm not sure why you sat down, but that's okay on that moment. <laughs> All right, praise God. My, our, our older sister, Betty Jean, is here. I have to call them down, apparently. <laughs> Betty Jean, Diane Tucker as well, our older sister. You guys are coming down as I'm calling your name. Yes, indeed. Praise God. Brother A.P., Apollos Tucker, Sister Regina D. Tucker, and of course, the awesome Jan. B.J., we're coming over here. Come on over here because the Zoom is here and we, you know, center stage and all. Praise God. Hmm. Yes. So I didn't know if you guys want to walk up the stairs. Okay. So then just come on in the focal point of yeah this whole moment here and and also um we're honoring our first recipient for this evening and, and i'm gonna let our dear sister jan give the information on our first recipient amen thank everybody for being here we are we are so humbled to be able to take this opportunity to just this is Mother Tucker Ministries way of giving back returning to say thank you for the love for our mother thank you for the love for the ministry and thank you for the family love the family love we are family our first recipient tonight uh, is on zoom I'm sorry. I got to acknowledge our brothers on Zoom. So Lawrence Tucker with the green background. Bless him. He's, Lawrence is there. And then, of course, Charles Tucker there as well. So they'll be chiming in as needed uh, from Zoom. But just want to make sure we knew they were there as well. Okay. And Minnie, is she in? Okay, she's not on Zoom, but she's not here tonight. But we do definitely honor her. Yes, absolutely. Amen. So, yes, our first recipient is our dear mother, Ruth Hall. My God, what she means to us is, is priceless. It's priceless. It's hard to talk about her without talking about her sister, Mother Warren. And at the same time, you know, their love for us. And we have not forgotten about Mother Warren. We're, we've got a list of people that have touched, touched the Tucker's lives. And we are so honored and privileged to return and say, we appreciate you. We thank God for you. All of the labor, Mother Hall, all of the labor, the prayer meetings. And I remember those prayer meetings, your mother and Sister Brooks. And I mean, I remember all those prayers for the family, that's why nobody, nobody is not covered in our families. Those prayers, those prayers are still working. They're still working. So thank God for you, Mother Hall. We appreciate you. We love you. We, we, we saw your love that you had for our mother. And I'm gonna tell you something. It matters because the children watch. They watch. And we saw a lot of people come in and take advantage of our mother. But we're remembering those that we saw love to her. And we thank God for you. This award is dedicated to you. In recognition of the support and love for Mother Tucker, and the faithfulness to prayer, service, and ministry to Revival Center House of Prayer and the Kingdom of God. God's blessings rest upon the Hall legacy. Hebrews 610, presented on May 30th, 2021, by Mother Tucker Ministry. We love you, Mother Hall. Now, I think Ruthie is on the Zoom. 
if you wanted to say, so, is it Ruthie? Mother, is that Mother Hall? Oh, I thought, oh, I'm sorry, Mother Hall. Actually, I thought it was going to be daughter or something, but Mother Hall, if you're there and if you want to say something, you can unmute yourself there and you can say something. She might be talking. <laughs> well, she can unmute herself. Yeah, you can. There you go. You can say something. what to do. <laughs> Whoops, you just muted yourself back up, but you were talking there, but you muted yourself, so unmute yourself, there you go. Now you can just start talking. Because the announcements are... You can, you can start talking, yes. I am grateful, I am so grateful to say something about Mother Tucker, a soldier. There's nothing here, baby. We hear you. Did you hear me? Yes, we hear you. Go ahead. Yes. I'm, I'm blessed. I'm grateful. Mother Hall was a soldier, and she retired in the Army. If I could sing that song, I would sing, I'm a soldier. Because she was a soldier in the Army for the Lord. If you ever seen the soldiers, I've been there, they, when they couldn't do anything but just stand still. And that's what the Bible said. You stand, keep standing. After all you've done, keep standing. And I've seen that. She's been a blessing to me. And I want to thank you all. I'm grateful. Man. To me. <laughs> I, I remember, let me say this. I remember when I had gone to the doctor and he announced that I had breast cancer. I went straight back to Mother Tucker. And she said, so? <laughs> That's just like a toothache to him. I said, well, praise God anyhow. So that made me stronger in the Lord. Yes. I, that made me very much stronger. That, that helped me to be mu much a, a stronger soldier, I say. Yes. So I just want to thank you, and I love all of you. I love all of you. And my prayers still continue to pray for you, because that's what she would be doing, praying for her children. And I'm still praying for you. God bless you, and I love you. All right. Thank you, Mother. God bless you. Love you, too. Amen. I want to check with um, Apostle Charles. Did you want to say anything? Or Lawrence, did you want to say anything? You're muted if you're trying to say something, Charles. Yes, we can hear you. Amen. Yeah. Hey, I'm just enjoying everything and the opportunity to um, give honor to whom honor is due. We are sincerely thankful and appreciative of all of those. Um, mother Hall, what a blessing you are to our mother. And it touches us, touches our hearts to acknowledge you and, and, and how you supported her and showed her love through the years. And um, God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Lawrence, you were you wanted to say something, Lawrence? I also agree with my brother, uh, Charles, Mother Hall, and that your love for Mother was really evident. And we are so thankful that you are part of our lives and you are such an important part of her. And we just appreciate you, and hopefully this will, this will show you a part of our appreciation for you. Thank you, Mother. Oh, amen. 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 And we will get her award to her. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And she went and sat down. I don't know. <laughs> we have three more to go. <laughs> well, <laughs> please, thank you. All right.
right, so right now we're going to do an, the award in loving memory of Pastor Henry, Henry McGriff, Henry McGriff and Sister Marianne McGriff. And we have a wonderful, the wonderful son Dexter here to accept our path. So we'll do the officiality of it. But, amen. Okay. Praise God. Okay. So this is presented. Praise God. The Dr. Tucker, Dr. Mother Grace Tucker Legacy Award presented to Pastor Henry, Henry McGriff and Sister Marianne McGriff in loving memory of the compassion and support shown to Mother Tucker and Pastor McGriff's faithful service to the Holy Temple House of Prayer and the Grace in Oklahoma community. May blessings meet upon the McGriff legacy. Amen. And we, like um, our CE said a little bit ago, Pastor McGriff was one of the, I think he was just the most saved person I knew. I was like, man, if I, he just was always smiling, always had a good attitude and just always loving on everybody. Just always knew you were going to get a smile from Pastor McGriff. So then he just gen demonstrated the love, especially to mom. He really, there was just a special, just wonderful love and respect for each other that was there. So we thank you. We're honored that you're here to receive on behalf of Pastor McGriff. So Dexter McGriff, we're going to see. Yes. Thank you, sir. We're going to take a picture this way. an honor to God He's ahead of our life we <laughs> on behalf of the McGriff family and actually Holy Temple House of Prayer Ministries we just want to say thank you this is so greatly appreciated my mother and father as has already been spoken they cared deeply for Mother Tucker and her ministry and my father uh, you know came up under mother tucker's ministry he may have been one of the very few men that did and he honored mother tucker all his years for over five decades amen and i just want to give a shout out to all my cousins that came tonight amen man See what line when he said, this is the baddest choir. Man, my cousins could sing. They used to have Holy Temple burning back then. Amen. So I just want everybody to know tonight that on behalf of the McGriff family, we are, we're humble. You know, my mother, she's been gone now 20 years. My father's been gone now nine years. And to know that people still think of them is greatly appreciated. So, you know, I know we had a little struggle with technology tonight. But, uh, you know, it's kind of new to everybody. But, Bishop, I, I believe you're the bishop, right? The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But the Bible said, but they're mighty in God to the pulling down of strongholds. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, I feel like shouting a little bit, but I won't. Because it's... <laughs> actually, y'all wore me out. <laughs> I'm a big old boy. I can't go too long. 
I remember Sister Tucker used to come down to Grace and it didn't seem like it would be going on 10 o'clock. I said, oh Lord, we about to stay till 3 o'clock in the morning. And man, let me tell you something. They got to jumping and hollering and chasing and running around. And I was just a young lad back then. I didn't really understand it all. But as I got older, my God, it's something about when God get a hold of you. When you really get saved. My daddy used to say some of y'all know how to play church. <laughs> but when you get saved and you know God for yourself, you don't have to play church anymore. Because it gets real to you, Bishop. Y'all don't hear me tonight. Oh, boy. I thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, I feel good. We got enough preachers here, so we won't preach tonight. Hallelujah. I'm going to sit down. You know, I got family that's on the Zoom. I hope they stay. My brother down in Florida, he, you know, he's very prop too. So I hope Henry stood with us. Hey Amen. I know my sister, she was, there were a lot of them supposed to be here, but, you know, I'm just so glad that my cousins came tonight. Hallelujah. They, man, y'all don't understand. Because I want to give, before I let this go, because I can't, I can't let this go. I've heard it many a times that how my father came into the ministry was through my mother and my Aunt Carrie Mae. Amen. Y'all don't understand, you know, women of God, you have the power to change men, but you got to be obedient. Oh, my God. What they did, what my father was able to do, what my, and then, you know, others came, followed after, my Uncle Ellsworth, hallelujah, my grandparents, amen, amen. See, my father originally came up in the AME Zion, oh my goodness, but he, my mother came up as a Baptist, but they said they didn't get saved until they ran across holiness. Because they were still smoking and drinking and partying. Y'all don't want the truth, but I'll tell it anyhow. Hallelujah. Some of y'all, amen, and it, it's just all right. This is church, ain't it? Hallelujah. So when they got into holiness, they used to say holiness without, no man shall see God. They said there's holiness in no way. My grandpa used to say that. You know, I, I used to say, boy, but I'll go to other churches and they were doing everything. I had a brother that made a joke one time. He said, I like going over here to this church. He said, because they do a little bit of everything. But you can't do that when you get around real church folk. I don't hear that. Now, I'm not preaching condemnation on nobody. But y'all got to understand that a lot of these old saints are gone now. My mom, my dad, my Uncle Ellsworth, Mother Tucker, my God, I can go on and on. The old saints, they're gone now. But they believed in this walk that we're talking about tonight. Y'all know what I'm talking about. My cousins know what I'm talking about. Come on now. Your daddy and mama didn't put up with everything. Neither did mine. Boy, when you grew up in our home, you had to live right. You can do what you want to once you left. But you're going to do what they told you to do when you was in the home. Come on. Y'all Tuckers ought to know what I'm talking about. Am I right about it? We walked away from our calling. We don't even want the truth anymore. We want a virgin watered down. Come on, somebody. Because you can't fill the house when you talk this stuff. Am I right about it? I'm about to sit down. Because I'm ready to go anyhow. Amen. I always tell folk, it don't take God long. Some of us holding this folk, we need to understand, it don't take God long. God speaking, things happen. Y'all hear me? God spoke and the world came into existence. We may jump and shout for a while, it don't take God long, sister. Come on, when you got the real thing, it don't take God long. You come looking for a blessing. All I'm supposed to do as a man or a woman of God, full with the Holy Ghost, come her in the name of Jesus. And it's done. Hallelujah. Am I right about it, Brother Roy?
Come on, somebody. Well, thank you again. God bless you. I said more than I wanted to say. And uh, my brother Henry is up there. Henry. Yeah, that's, that's my brother. That's him. He's in the corner. Amen. Yeah, he's over there in the corner. That's my dad's name. Say, man, you talking to, if y'all think I talk, boy, y'all let it hear my brother. Yeah, he's, he's a preacher, deacon, but it's all right. He's in Tampa, Florida, so we thank God for him. But on, again, on behalf of the McGriff family, we love you. We thank God for it, all of you. And again, we're just so humble. God bless each and every one of you. Amen. Amen. See, we didn't have in the title that he was a pastor, but we didn't, or preacher or evangelist. We didn't, hear, we didn't have that in the title, but we definitely heard it in the message, in the voice. Amen. And we want to acknowledge Henry, Brother Henry McGriff with the surname. Did you want to say something to respond or? You want to unmute yourself? You can unmute yourself. I see they're trying. I see them pushing. They pushing that button. Push that red button. Push that red. Unmute. There you go. Yeah, we, yeah, we were trying. My wife was trying. But hallelujah, praise the Lord. Yes, sir, we've got it now. we got it. Can you hear me now? We hear you, yes. Okay. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. You know, sometimes it takes a little bit of effort. All right, we have to search for it as if it's silver and gold. Uh, we want to uh, say thank you so very much. And praise the Lord that uh, we were actually uh, afforded the opportunity to grow up in Revival Center House of Prayer. And most of the... Uh, uh, Tucker children are our close friends, not only in the, in the Lord, but also just friends. So we praise the Lord for that. You know, uh, we were sitting here earlier and we were reminiscing with my wife about, well, who's that? Who's that? I'm saying, Lord, everybody done got old like me. But you know, we're still good looking. But I, I'm going to say it like this, though. Thank God we're still here. Yes. And I pray for the best as we proceed on. And I'm sure God's blessings are coming all of our way because God has said he has saved up the spoils, the riches of the unjust to give to us the just. Thank you so very much. Amen. 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 That's precious. Amen. Sister McGriff, you want to say something? You good? Y'all good? Okay. okay. Praise God. Amen. Well, let's give them a hand. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Um, Apostle Charles and Lawrence, we want to make sure, did you want to say anything regarding, um, okay, you're okay? Okay. Thank you. Lawrence, you're okay as well? Okay. All right. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. All right. Give God a hand. Praise. Um, so I got to ask, so are you pastoring somewhere or? Oh, well, you got it. I'm saying you, you just, like I said, you packing, you packing. And we have to come have you, we're going to have to come have you come evangelize up over here. Amen. Appreciate you. Amen. Amen. So we're going to continue forward with our next recipient, and we're so honored. I'm going to let our, our dear, precious older sister, Betty Latimer, 
um, announce this one. It's precious as well. Amen. I am so honored to present this award. I, I don't know much about this person's life after school, okay? But uh, Karen and I were classmates, of course, and we graduated from dear old Dunbar High School in Oak Muggy, Oklahoma, the famous class of 1955. <laughs> so that's how I know Carrie, and I, like I say, I'm just honored to present this award. Uh, others can speak more about her, her ministry life, but I, we know each other. As, I mean, we were in the same class. So. Anyway, this award says 2021, 2021 Dr. Mother Grace Tucker Legacy Award prepared for Pastor Carrie Mae Lewis and in loving memory of Brother Ellsworth Lewis. Okay, in, rec in recognition, <laughs> read that. <laughs> Let's get in a real recognition small. of the support and love for Mother Tucker and their faithful service to the ministry of the Holy Temple House of Prayer and the Grace in Oklahoma community, God's blessing rests upon the Lewis legacy, Hebrews 6.10, presented May 30th, 2021 by Mother Tucker Lewis. Amen. So Amen. Is her daughter's here to accept the award. And Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much to the uh, Mother Tucker Ministries, to all of you all. Uh, most of you, we all grew up together. Um, my mother talked about you all the time, so I'm going to make sure that she knows that you were here. Amen. I could go on and talk about so much about uh, the ministry because I remember so much. Uh, I remember when my mother got filled with the Holy Ghost the night that she was filled. So I was a little small girl, but I remember that. And I remember how the saints would, especially uh, the mothers, they'd be sitting on that front row with uh, all in white. And I'm just going to say this really quick, and then uh, all my sisters, come on. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try and be in a hurry here. But anyway, all the mothers would sit on the front row in white, and they would be praying and just calling on God and Anybody that was seeking the Holy Ghost, I mean, you know, they went into tarrying and the all-night uh, uh, prayer meetings and shut-ins and what have you. But this particular night, Mother went to service and she wanted to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Well, anyway, she'd been praying and fasting. I remember this very well. But anyway, I'm going to make it short. Mom fell out on the floor under the, under the anointing. Well... Me and my little feisty self, I jumped down and started running over because she laid out on the floor. And I'm jumped down and I'm trying, Mama, Mama, Mama. Well, Mother Haygood, she was one of the meanest little old women in the church, I think. But she was full of the Holy Ghost, but that sister was mean. But I just tell it like, <laughs> and I'm going to tell you what I mean by being mean. She tore my hips up. That's what I say. That's mean. She was sitting on the front row and she, she was trying to pull me up. To, no, baby, let God do his work. And I'm like, okay, you know, I'm a child, so I'm taught to do what uh, elders tell you to do. But I'm like, no, my mama's passing on the floor. I ain't moving. <laughs> I've always been stubborn that way, you know. So I, I want to find out what's going on with my mother. But anyway, she grabbed me and set me in that chair. And Mother Hager <laughs> carried a switch all the time. She tore my little legs up. I was sitting there, I was like little Mikey. <laughs> I, said, I was so mad at that little lady, I didn't know what to do. But I'm like, <laughs> you know, my mother, all I know, she was saying something that I couldn't understand. But I tell you, she's been speaking ever since. She's been speaking and preaching and living it ever since. I got a whipping, mama got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. I praise God that mama got the Holy Ghost, but I tell you, I never forgot Mother uh, Haygood. But it was so many of the saints back then. Mother Tucker had her um, anointed way of just touching everybody. And there were so many of the older saints, a lot of them my sisters don't remember, 
but because they were too young. But I remember so many of them. I don't know if y'all even remember uh, Mother Strong, if you remember her. She would bring, back in that day, we would bring pounds. That's what they called it, bringing pounds to Mother Tucker. Well, Sister Strong, she didn't have a whole lot to give, but she wanted to make sure she was part of it. She would bust those doors down on Lafayette and they'd come through those double doors at the church, pull in what we called back then a croaker sack, which is a toe sack. Mother Strong, she would come up the aisle. Mother Tucker would just be praying and travailing and preaching the word. Mother Strong would come up. Miss Tucker, she couldn't talk. <laughs> I ain't trying to be a comedian, y'all. I just tell it like it is. <laughs> Miss Tucker, Miss Tucker, Miss Tucker, I got some fish for you. <laughs> I'm like, Lord, she, here she come down the aisle and all that fish juice. <laughs> I remember it. <laughs> I remember it all, y'all. How much do y'all want to know? <laughs> I remember it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm a hush because I can tell y'all some stories that I have. But I, I want all of my sisters that's here, all of them that's here except for two. Uh, and I thank God that we're all still in the land of the living. Amen. Mother and dad and Pastor McGriff and the whole family, uh, Sister White and uh, Brother Biglow and all of those people, they labored for so long, you know, and we're standing today because we're standing on their shoulders. They were standing on Mother Tucker's shoulders. And so you want to know why I give praise to God now? Because they taught me how to praise. That's why. They taught me how to fall on my knees and give God glory for myself. That's why. They taught me that if you give God all that you have, he will make room for you to have blessings to overflow and overtake you. That's why I have clothes upon my back. That's why I praise God tonight. I have everything that I need. That's why I give God praise. So I, I'm telling you here tonight, ah, glory. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you tonight, I stand on behalf of my mother, Sister Carrie Lewis and Brother Ellsworth Lewis in memory of him. But let me tell you, I stand because of all of the saints that's gone on today. When you want to talk, start talking about why we're here, I can get stirred up on you really quick because I know why I'm here. I know what it took for me to be here now. I didn't know my mother had knees until we got old. You see top of my head? What I mean by that, we never even, they, it was such a... How, how should I put it? Like now, they, we want to show everything. But anyway, my mother, her dresses was down here. She was always praying. I didn't know she had knees too. We had to start taking care of her. Because she'd never let us see her knees. You know, she was always praying. <laughs> she was all, all I knew, she was down there on something. <laughs> all I knew, she was down on on something. We thought out she had knees after we got grown. You know, but they was on their knees praying all the time. Lord Jesus, I'm telling you, don't never give me a mic. Cause no, don't ever give me a mic, cause I know how to go on. I'm gonna talk about that in just a few minutes. But be, <laughs> but before we sit down, uh, my husband telling me to go on. The preacher, he gonna get me in a few minutes. But uh, all of my sisters, if they want to say something, it, even if it's just thank you, whatever, I know, I know that we're all appreciative. <laughs> but, <laughs> they know I don't know when to shut up. That's what. <laughs> but you know, you're talking about Mother Lewis, and her little favorite song was uh, "Victory is Mine." Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, "Get out of my way." Because victory today is mine. Amen. So on behalf of Carrie Lewis and Brother Ellsworth Lewis, the Lewis sisters, we want to say thank you all so much for honoring my, oh, oh Lord, for honoring our parents tonight. I'm telling you, it really warms our hearts. We're humbled. We're humbled. And we love you for it. Amen. And I'm going to say this. Charles, not Charles, uh, Lawrence and Doyle. <laughs> this is back when Big Roy was still, he was playing piano for us. I can go way back there. Um, 
But anyway, I thought that was some of the tallest men I'd ever seen in my life. They would walk through the door, and I'm like, God, they're giants. You know? <laughs> but you know what? They're tall in Jesus. So I thank you all very much for honoring our parents tonight. We are very, very appreciative. So she's saying, go ahead and sing that song. No. <laughs> all right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Just stay right there, right where you is. Come on, put your hands together. We need a whole night for the Terry McConnell show. Just a whole night. Just for the Terry McConnell show. Beautiful. Beautiful. And and for for all the sisters to make it out to support, that's just beautiful. 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 Amen. See Marlene over there, she was whispering back to me, is she dead? Is the lady dead? That's she talking about? <laughs> 
<laughs> and then my BJ said, you might get a visitation tonight from one of them, you know. You know, but <laughs> rest in peace. <laughs> but Terry, my Lord, oh my Lord, you just have guts hurting and everything. Have guts hurting where they're open to receive the gospel. You really got it. But thank you guys. And it's such an honor to share. I just want to check in with um, Charles and Lawrence. Did you guys want to say anything? How you doing? You okay, Lawrence? Okay. Charles, uh, what are you looking at? What are you looking at, Charles? What is he looking at? Charles? He's looking at the game. He's probably watching the game. He probably watching, right, darn He probably watching the game, huh? Charles, you good? You want to unmute? But you, you're muted. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Were you watching the game? Can you hear me now? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. This is comedy. <laughs> yes. We can hear you. Is there a game on? Yes. What game is on? Yes. Okay, so you didn't want to say anything with, to Sister Terry, the, the Lewis family, anything, Charles? You okay? Okay, I'm okay. Okay, we love the Lewises. Love the Lewises. Okay. okay, all right. God bless. All right. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I want to, before I just, because I know um, Pastor C.E. has been so intricately involved with Mother Lewis. So I just wanted to offer him a moment if he wanted to say anything regarding Mother Lewis. Uh, she is something. She is something else. I went to visit her a couple of weeks ago and uh, took, my, um, took my little nephew with me. He had a keyboard with batteries in it, so we took the keyboard in there. And so we started singing, and she got with me for about 45 seconds. And then she wanted to tell me a story. And so I stopped, and she told me, something and then I started well, let's sing something else and then she started singing she'd clap a little bit and then she'd start telling me something else she felt like I needed to know and then I said what song is on your heart mother and she said glory glory hallelujah since I laid my burdens down so we sang that and she just waved her hand and it was such a blessing to be there but I, I just such an honor so she's, I remember her when I was little little and I remember, I remember going somewhere in Sister White's blue car, and I don't know which one of you guys, all of y'all, we were stuffed in that back seat, and I was sitting on y'all's lap, and we were just in there tight, going to the revival. So I, I remember your mother and y'all singing and, 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 and just so many things. Mother Lewis was always a lady, always a lady, she was always put together. And when she clapped, she did a little double thing, you know. I just love that about her, and she could sing and just the anointing on her life, the anointing that she's carried. And when I visited the home, uh, her home, not, not the, the facility, but her actual home, I just, I want to say this because I witnessed it, that every time I would go in there, I would see her and Brother Lewis just so well taken care of. House was spotless. You, you know, you walk into some homes and you can tell they're not being taken good care of and I would walk into the house always smelled nice and everything was in its place and none of them could s sit still they were just up wiping something wiping something down or fixing something to eat or cleaning something and they blamed that on you know their parents training them like that and I'd come home from some of those visits and I would tell my children I said y'all got it easy because <laughs> mother Lewis didn't play you know she I heard that she, she found a little damp water in a dish or something in the cabinet. She pulled everything out, make you get up and wash everything and put it away. I said, that's, they, and they even said they thought it was abuse, but it trained them. <laughs> Amen. But I just thank God. I commend you for how you all have taken care of your parents. Yes. 
Amen. And I, I, I am right now in a position where I'm taking care of my mother. And it's daily. It's a grind. It's a daily grind. And when I'm folding those towels, I think about y'all. I said, they can do this for their mom and dad. I can do this for my mama. So y'all are, y'all are inspirational to me. Amen. And, and I just I think about y'all often in the anointing. The anointing. Y'all just saw a glimpse of the Lewis family tonight. This was nothing compared to what I know. If we'd have let Brother Roy up on this piano, we'd probably be just out. But y'all are such a blessing. Thank God for your family. Thank God for your mother. And I thank you for letting me be a part of, of these years of her life. Amen. She, when I walked in, she said, you're my pastor. And I said, it's an honor, mother. You know, just, that's such an honor to be called that, you know, she could, it's just an honor. So she's so precious and so thankful. I'm so thankful that she's yet alive Amen. and that we can go visit her now again. I walked in there proud and vaccinated and so I'm going to go and see this precious woman of God just to be able to touch her one more time. So we just thank God for, and thank you all for letting me go. And uh, Sister Doris told me, she said, I saw you on the camera. You know, I was going to act right even if the camera wasn't in the room, you know, but I'm glad that when they looked in, we were singing and playing and praying and whatever was going on. But that's an honor. And, and I think one of them, you know, I try to, I like to go visit people like that when their children can be there just, just because I like to see y'all, but it, you know, it's for your peace of mind. But I was there by myself, with my little nephew. That was an honor that you trusted me to go and visit your mother. Thank you. Thank you. I applaud you all. I love you all so much. Amen. 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 Well, stand up on your feet, everyone. This has been a wonderful, wonderful night. We want to appreciate anybody who had anything to do with everything that happened tonight. We want to especially thank uh, Pastor um, Tony. I want to say Tony Rogers, right? Yes. Pastor Tony Rogers for opening up his facilities to us to use for this event you know with the COVID's going on and all that different places not doing not allowing different things to happen but he just just because of his love for our mother and everything he just said you come on you don't, you don't have to pay anything just come on this yours use and all that just made it available so we really appreciate him um in terms of letting us use the facility appreciate pastor ce again for everything your connection and talk about relationships and everything really appreciate you and even in terms of even plugging this in as well and keeping the relationships going appreciate everything that's happening you know the ministry is feeding people every what tuesday wednesday and third tuesday and thursday we're right not far from here of course feeding people every tuesday and thursday people are coming through sunday night micah brian's brother is actually there covering the service there because people come there to receive food and receive ministry on Sunday nights there. So things are happening, things are going, but we want to say thank you, thank you, thank you again to Brother Chris, thank you, Dan, thank you so much, thank you, Elder Rodney, thank you so much, thank you for everybody that participated on Zoom tonight and all and working through the little technical difficulties, thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you so much this to nancy um the harden the hardens thank you harkins harkins right thank you so much for your contribution and presentation thank you thank you i'll say pastor dexter thank you evangelist dexter thank you lewis family thank you and of course the hall family and just um one more that was it Amen. And then, of course, my siblings, thank you so much. Jan, your efforts and your labor and all of this and putting everything together. Thank you. God bless you for everything in that. Amen. But AP, BJ, Diane, Regina, Charles, Lawrence, Minnie, not here. And all. Did I miss anybody? Okay. I said body, not thing, but yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So thank God for the servers serving those serving in the back, the refreshments. Repeat again. Oh Lord, yes. She just reminded me. And and thank God for Dara. 
Tucker. That, thank you, Dara. She's on Zoom and she, I, I recruited her and Ray. They were being Zoom monitors as well, you know, because there's a thing called Zoom bombing. People come on and, you know, <laughs> so they were policing Zoom up there as well. But thank you, Ray and Dara. Dara, Dara, Dara. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. And of course, Dolly, our photographer, <laughs> capturing the evening. Again, we go on and on, but thank you to Inlig again. Thank you for everyone and any anyone and uh, Mr. Caden on the drums. Thank you. Uh, talk about somebody growing up right before our very eyes, but he just growing up right before our eyes there. Thank you, Caden. Appreciate you. Amen. All right, did I miss anything now? Did I miss anything? Okay. Love everybody. Amen. Huh? Excuse me. Oh, Charles, Larry, just to make sure. Any closing remarks, Charles? Charles, Larry, any? He is watching that game. I think he's really watching the game. Hold on, Lawrence. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Yes, I want to say I am so appreciative for all the love uh, that uh, we witnessed this evening for the legacy of our dear mother and uh, all those who participate. I am so thankful that Jesus Christ is Lord and he's permitted us to have this opportunity to enjoy this time. So I thank you everyone for, for participating. I appreciate you very, very much with all of my heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Thank you. All right. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory for the things he has done. I'm not even going to do it again. Father, thank you right now for this time tonight. Thank you for your presence that has visited us. Thank you for your anointing that has removed burdens and destroyed yokes. Thank you for ministering angels watching over us safely till we come together again, loving one another and exalting you. May peace and love be multiplied to all. Shake hands because you're friendly. God bless you, each and every one. Amen. <laughs>